Reminders, uh, <clears throat> you've got two types of adz and forceps, and one of them has teeth, okay, and you can see the little, uh, little teeth there, okay, you see those, and then um, the other one is without teeth. It does have little ridges on the inside of the, um, of the jaws, okay, and uh, so that helps to manipulate the tissue, um, but you have to be really careful with the uh, adz and forceps with teeth because these things can really macerate tissue really easily. Um, and uh, especially if you're working around delicate tissue like uh, suturing around the eyelids uh, in those areas, um, or if you had to work, do any suturing down around the genital area, anything where the tissue is really delicate, um, you want to be extra careful. Okay? So, uh, but you can still use them, obviously. And there's, I'll show you a few things about ads and forcep use. Um, first of all, as you've heard me say in class, Dr. Adson would roll over in his grave if he saw you holding his forceps like this. You always want to hold ads and forceps like a pencil, okay, like this. And typically, I always use these in my non-dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so I'll have my need needle driver in this hand, and then I'll use my ads and forceps for um, um, manipulating the tissue um, with, uh, with this other hand. Um, the other thing you can do with the adz and forceps, when I'm suturing, and I'll show you a couple of tricks of the trade, you can actually put the adz and forceps inside the wound and use it as, um, um, as a little bit of reverse traction to get your needle through the skin. You see that? Um, the other thing about when you're using the, the uh, adz and forceps with teeth is instead of grabbing the tissue and manipulating it around, you, know, you can just use one, hand, one piece of it, the one with the jaw, that little hook there, just use it to lift up, lift up, and you can use it to manipulate the tissue um, without having to, to grab onto the tissue, because that's the best way uh, to, mana uh, to uh, macerate the tissue by being, being a little bit more aggressive. Um, so those are the adz and forceps, again, with teeth, without teeth. Um, you know, disposable suture trays mostly come with these adz and forceps with teeth, okay?